Okay, maybe I'm just a geek, but to me that's music to my ears. There's nothing like the sound of a spray can, rattle ball, and the smell of nitrocellulose in the morning. And today I'm gonna talk about these great finishing products that you can use on your next project. A big hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. Thank you for joining me today. Today is a momentous day in my life and I want to share this with you. If you're like me and you enjoy finishing or refinishing any of your guitars, you probably already know that if you are in Canada, like I am, and you are trying to get your hands on nitrocellulose lacquer in a spray can that match the original colors from the manufacturers of yesteryear, it was a huge pain. So today I'm happy to announce that Great Lakes Custom Color uh, is providing these great color choices in a can to Canadians at a very reasonable price. So there's no reason now not to take on that refinished project that you've been putting off. And I wanna talk about the colors and what you can get from them because it's not just a question of a couple of colors. It really is, uh, they're providing everything. Everything from A to Z that you can use to refinish your guitars. So let's take a look at some of these cans that I have in front of me because they all do something different in the process. And the great thing is that you can get them all from them one stop. You don't have to mix and match colors from different companies and worry whether or not there's going to be some kind of chemical reaction and you're going to get bubbling or some weird things happening with your finish. You don't have to worry about that. So if we look at this, we have, uh, this is a fender neck finish. And what this is, is, is basically a finish that's been color matched to the fender neck. You can see a little bit of the color spray here on the, on the top. Um, so if you're finishing a regular raw neck, you can get that, that fender color without any like mixing or getting, you know, different colors uh, with tints and stuff and trying to get your clear coat to match it. It's already been done. It's in a can, easy to apply. You're ready to go. So next in the process is the sealer. So once you paint a project guitar, you know that you want to seal the wood so that the nitrocellulose doesn't just keep on seeping in the open cell cells or the grain of the wood and give you those little divots. So if you really want to have a really nice flat finish, you would um, fill the grain, apply the sealer on top of that, and then basically apply your nitro finishes over that. And you should have a very, very nice flat glossy finish at the end of it. So if you've been wanting to make your own vintage style butterscotch blonde Telecaster, this is the can that you've been dreaming about probably. It's a butterscotch blonde finish in a rattle can and it will match the of it, you know, those old fender colors uh, very, very closely. So nothing complicated, just spray it on and you're in business. So what if you want to go one step further than that and you want to mimic that aged clear? So you know after you know 20 years, 30 years, the clear coat starts to get a little bit yellow and you want to mimic that. It's very hard to do just with regular spray cans that you can buy in a hardware store, but Great Lakes Custom Color have a uh, heavy aged clear coat that's already been matched so you can actually spray Spray this on your body, spray this on your necks, and you could mimic the beautiful aged color of those clear coats that I love so much. So I'm very, very excited to try this. Now, if you wanna just have a regular clear coat without any age effect, they also have that, which is just a straight clear so that you don't have to go any, into any heavy like aging process. If you just wanna have a modern look, then they have that for you as well. So the idea here, guys, is to use all of these great products to finish this beautiful Ash Telecaster body that I recently purchased because I want to make myself another Telecaster because, you know, three or four are clearly not enough. Uh, I wanted to make my own Telecaster, a custom build, and I want to give it sort of a vintage look, butterscotch blonde, maybe a little aged uh, in terms of the clear coat, you know, just to give it a little bit of mojo. And so I purchased this body. I'm going to pick purchase a neck for this build as well, apply all of the techniques and uh, color 
uh, stages here that are gonna be part of the process. And I think I'm gonna end up with a really, really nice project guitar. If you're not sure about the process and you haven't done this before, the great thing is that if you visit the Great Lakes Custom Color website, there's a lot of information there in terms of the steps to take. And if you have more questions, even after reading all of that information, you can contact them and they are a host of information in terms of the right way to approach a project like this so you don't make any unnecessary mistakes along the way from Daphne Blue to Dakota Red to Fiesta Red and more and more and more, they have a big selection of colors to choose from. So I'm sure you'll be able to find the color that's right for your next project. Now, if finishing your own guitar seems to be too much of an issue, too daunting, maybe you don't have the space to do that in your apartment or condo or something like that. Maybe you don't have a garage. Well, the good news is that they can also help you paint your projects. They also do custom paint jobs. So all you need to do is send them your body or your neck and they will do the work for you and send you back a beautifully finished uh, piece of artwork I like to refer it to because it's not just a guitar body once it's finished it's beautiful so if you want to get something done and don't have the skills don't have the space just contact them and they'll make sure to take care of your order specifically and just tell them what you need and they'll get it done so guys, if you want to get more information on these products, check the link in my comment section below. You can go directly to the website and get more information right from the source. Now, if you're interested in following me as I do this refinish project on my Telecaster, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will be posting videos along the way of the process. So if you're interested in doing it for yourself or you're just curious as to how well the project comes out in the end, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks once again for tuning in to Addicted to Gear. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I post new great videos. And of course, if you want to support the channel, there's some great swag that you can grab right at the bottom of this video. And you can grab yourself a nice t-shirt, a mug, uh, a sticker, you know, uh, a great gift idea for you or for the, the musician friend in your life, especially since Christmas is just around the corner. So that's it for today, guys. See you soon. Stay tuned and keep rocking. More great stuff coming your way.